<laughs> All right, so Spock was able to get a scan of the bird of prey before it cloaked. It was trailing trilithium fragments, meaning that their power supply was damaged. They would not be able to return to Romulus. Its heading was still going to take it towards the neutral zone, but they could be overtaken now. Problem is, the Enterprise's phasers are down. They have no, tor- no torpedoes to fire. <laughs> you know, of course, you know, Kirk points out that, like, hey, but the Romulans wouldn't know this. But then Pike's like, yeah, but if we roll up on them and can't open fire, you know, they'll figure it out pretty quickly. <laughs> so, you know, Pike goes, well, wait a minute, I got an idea. And then Kirk's like, well, what are you doing? He's like, I'm going to take a risk. So he opens the channel, calls over to the wrong island ship. And he kind of does a, hey, hey, let's uh, let's have a conversation, get to know each other, find some common ground. <laughs> <laughs> and so they kind of talk it out. They decide, okay, we're going to have two hours. And then we'll uh, decide what we're doing from there. As the channel closes, Ortega firmly believes that the Romulans cannot be trusted. They blasted the Farragut right in front of us. Pike quietly tells her to stand down. Ortega keeps pushing. <laughs> and then finally, he just kind of loses it on her and tells her to stand down. Spock then reports that the Romulans have stopped their forward motion. Kirk wonders what they're doing. And uh, Pike says, you know, hopefully the same thing we are. Now we actually cut for the first time to the, the bird of prey. Very much the same sort of thing is happening on the ship as happened in TOS. Yep. The commander we find is, is war weary and kind of sick of all, but he's got a second in command who wants all the honors and the glory and the this, that, and the other, and who is calling his commander out basically in front of the rest of the crew. You know, the commander kind of pulls him aside and he's like, look, you know, I've, I've been doing this since before you were born, you know, I'd, your uncle was an egomaniac. <laughs> he just kind of starts going through the whole thing. And um, he goes, look, you know, maybe, you know, this might be a chance for us to have actual peace. And the sub commander's like, well, what if it's not? And he's like, well, then you'll get your war. <laughs> I was just waiting for the commander to just punch the sub commander. Well, I, if I remember right in, um, in balance of terror, what keeps happening is he keeps like cutting his rank. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> if somebody does something, he's like, you're reduced two steps in rank. Now get off my bridge. <laughs> so we cut back over to the ready room here. And uh, Pike offers Spock a cup of coffee. I actually like this scene quite a bit. <laughs> Pike o- offers Spock a cup of coffee, which uh, you know, Spock's like, oh, I, I do not drink coffee. I do, however, drink tea. He's like, oh, would you like a cup of tea? He's like, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I thought that was kind of fun. You know, it was just kind of a neat little thing to throw in. <laughs> So Pike is kind of sitting there. He's kind of like feeling like uh, like he's been knocked down a little bit, you know, lamenting the loss of the Farragut and wondering how much this is really his fault. <laughs> and um, I think maybe at this point it's starting to dawn on him what has happened here. He's like, oh, wait, I was supposed to. Yeah. Oh, I know. Okay. Man. I guess I wasn't supposed to be here. Let yeah. Kirk do his thing. Dang. So he asks about Una here as well. This is where we actually find out what has happened. And we uh, find out she's been sent to a penal colony on Salia 6, where she has been for the last seven years. Pike asks Spock why, and he's answered with her deception, but he seems a little confused there. Door chimes, and here comes Captain Kirk. Oh, yeah, you know, I kind of left out this stuff here, too, about how Spock says, like, nobody can know the future until it's happening. And that Pike suddenly alludes to how they don't command their ship out of ego or or something similar, which I think is the moment he realizes, like, oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> now I see what's going 